Hello all and welcome to Well Crochet. My name is Mary and today I'm not coming to you with a tutorial, nor am I coming to you with a live for obvious reasons, which I'll explain in a moment. Um, but today I'm coming to you with three different things, very, very exciting things. Well, one more exciting than the other two. It depends on who you are. <laughs> you may find the other two exciting. Now, uh, firstly, Teddy. <laughs> Our rescue dog, Teddy, the Pomeranian cross, whatever that cross was um, but he's absolutely gorgeous and he's come a long way and I cannot wait for you to see him um, to be honest with you I was out there before and did this you know pre-recorded it and I'm kind of glad I did there was a little incident <laughs> and I'm not going to show you that that's going to be at the end of the, this video because you guys have got to see I've added it to my bloopers as well because it's just typical <laughs> So, but I wanted you guys to see Teddy and a lot of um, my regulars have actually asked me. I've had a couple of private messages and everything asking me how Teddy is going. So I thought I'd give you an update. He's been with us since last April and um, we are now in what? We're almost in June. Was it today June? No, we're close to June. A <laughs> couple of days. I don't even know what day. What, what's my name? Ask me a harder question. <laughs> So anyway, um, I thought I'll show you Teddy and, and everybody can have a look see and see how he's doing. That's one of the reasons why I'm on today. The other reason is um, we were able to have visitors finally after being shut away from the world for quite a few weeks. And a couple of weeks ago, was it not last weekend, the weekend before, my sisters, both my sisters came over. I have three sisters, but one couldn't make it. The other two came over to visit and they bought their projects. So I thought I'd do a little footage on their projects and you can have a look, see at what they're making. And of course, finally, last but not least, the giveaway is coming. Ah, it is coming, guys. It's, we are so close. It is close. But we have to wait. You have to be patient you have to be patient okay so why why am i advertising things now when we've got some time before the giveaway before it happens well for two reasons one i have always done this i advertise quite a few weeks in a row um in the older days it was quite a few weeks now i have to do it quite a few days because things are happening so fast now that i have to do it daily <laughs> rather than weekly so why not show you some of the items not all of them some of the items that I might, that I will, let me rephrase that, will pop in the giveaway, but I'm popping quite a few of them in. Like when I show you one yarn, I'll say maybe four of these or three of these, depending on how much I have in stock, I have to have a look, see. Otherwise I have to go and purchase. Oh. <laughs> now, a lot of the dye lots will be the same dye lot as well. So if you're making a certain project, you have the right dye lots. <laughs> um, that's the good thing. I love to have perfect dye lots and I've been caught out with dye lots before so it's really good to have the same dye lots. Firstly, I have to take you outside and you can have a look at our fine young Teddy and of course his mate Pepper. <laughs> Teddy. Hmm. It's been a year since we have adopted him. He's still kind of fearful but he does love the liver sticks. If I make a noise, he runs, so I'll try and be as quiet. Teddy, yum yum. Teddy, yum yum. He loves his liver sticks. What? <laughs> and he loves a good cuddle. And if you don't cuddle him when you're out here, he gets very angry. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't really. He kind of puts his paw up and tells you, can you do with a cuddle? Do you mind? Where's my cuddle? Look, see, he comes back. He wants a cuddle. He wants to cuddle. <laughs> Who's your good boy? Yes, you are. Who's your good boy? Hey? And here comes the queen. The queen is coming. Come over here, queen. Oh, jealous. Teddy's jealous now. <laughs> he doesn't like the cat to get the attention. So, Teddy has been with us for just over a year now. A year and a bit. More. I can't even remember when we got him. <laughs> April, I think it was, last year. So much more comfortable here now. And um, taken us a long time. He never liked to be patted. He didn't like anything, really. But um, here we go. Look at him now. If I stop patting him, he starts to look for a pat. See? He looks for the pat. He wants the pat. <laughs> Do you want a stick too, Teddy? Yum, yum. Teddy? Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Hey, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, here. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, darling. Here, Teddy. Teddy, here. 
So there we go. And that's our little Teddy. He's He had it rough for a while and he's only just learnt over the past few weeks how to um, stay. Like before he loved the cuddle and then he'd run off and then he'd come back for more cuddles and then run off. And now he kind of just sits there and he's kind of relaxed. I can't get the camera down anymore. If I move the camera, he runs. It took me 15 minutes to get the camera. But he's not looking at the camera because he's scared of it. <laughs> oh, poor God. Poor old Teddy. Poor old Teddy. Now, that's his little bed that he sleeps in. It's kind of... Um, uh, oh, got fur everywhere. It's kind of got... Um, pers perspex? Um, yeah, perspex. It's kind of got perspex around it. So he keeps nice and warm. And both him and the cat sleep in there. He's learned to move out the way when the cat comes in because she's the queen. <laughs> and she's got to get first dibs at the bed. Let's see if he can. Oh my gosh. And Teddy, he won my heart the first day he arrived. He did. Not even before he arrived. <laughs> but um, he's come a long way and, you know, we can't ask for more than that. So I said he was 11 years old, but he was 11 years old last year when I got him. He's now 12. Well, no one really knows his birthday, so there you go. I'm sure the veterinarian can work it out and let us know, roughly. <laughs> but in the meantime, that was that. Now, let's get on with the chat with my sisters. I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Sarah, sister to um, Mary, who does Wow Crochet. Um, I'm actually doing a jumper for a two-year-old. Actually, sorry, my apologies. He's actually one years old. Now, he was one in November, so what does that make it? Another six months later? Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. He'll be two in November, but he is wearing twos already. <laughs> and he's a very tall little boy. Um, and so I'm making him a, a hooded uh, jacket. Um, so it's got buttons and, and um, the hood, um, but knitting. Oh, swear word. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> For me, it's not a swear word. No, well, actually, I knit too. I just don't I do not do it very often. In fact, I don't do it at all as much, but I have done in the past. But that's looking good. Okay. And uh, sorry, this is from an Easter egg that I just ate. <laughs> hey, hey, we hear nothing, we see nothing. And I just <laughs> and I have to keep a record of what I've done because you've got to check how many rows you've oh, done yes. and everything else yes. like that. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, you do. I'm sure some of you do do knitting uh, it's not a swear word and um, <laughs> it's not a swear word as you can see i've got uh, the navy blue and i've got now just let me check for one minute um i did bring the wool i'm actually using easy care five ply wool um from heirloom and this is actually similar to patterns wool you can use this type of wool um it depends on what country you're from they might say patents or they might patents, say patterns yeah. Now, this is a navy blue, and this one here is, now bear with me because I really, there's no name of the actual colour of the wool on this one, <laughs> although they just give you the uh, colour lot number, mm, so it's mm. just according to the colour lot yeah, that yeah. they have at the back there, and it's of course the same as the navy blue, the five. So five. You, uh, only the brown and navy blue you've got? Just, just, just the brown and navy blue, I think that'll mm -hmm. be nice colours for him. That'd be nice. And I think yeah. his mothers will like these. Colors too. You've got to think about what the mothers like too. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing. Nice to talk to you. Thank you so much, Sarah, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Have, happy knitting to you. Thank you. <laughs> happy crocheting to you. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. All right, guys, and this piece here is actually um, a few motifs that my sister Josie is crocheting currently. As you know, Josie doesn't usually come on to um, her well crochet, but she is appetising her little piece that she is making here. She's making this for, I believe it's a bedside table. Am I wrong? Bedside table? Yep, for her bedside table. Um, so she'll be doing the motifs. She'll be doing quite a few of the motifs. And it's coming nice. It looks like, is it a black or is it a navy? It's a black, yeah? It's black, yeah. It looks gorgeous, that piece. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. She's joined them together using chain chain stitch, I think. Is that correct? No, they're joined together naturally with the crochet. Oh, very nice. I like very much. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> yep, I'm still me. Sorry, guys. Um, so that's Josie's uh, project that she's working on today.
<laughs> so that's my sisters guys you have met them before they've been on quite a few times and in the near future we will be having them on the show doing projects for us i know right ah, terrific i'm looking forward to that because that gives my hands a rest and we get something new and different yay <laughs> so there you go that's them and now yarn time i oh, know you've been waiting for this guys there is so much more coming um there's we have three different sets of giveaway we have the 5,000 subscriber giveaway and the 6,000 subscriber giveaway with the 5,000 subscriber giveaway i couldn't do it because we were kind of stuck and i couldn't leave the house <laughs> like most of the world i couldn't leave my home unless i was going to the supermarket uh, the, some shops were still open you could have ordered online but you know me guys I like to touch I like to make sure that if I'm not happy with the product you guys aren't going to be happy and that's that's the reality of it all it really is now let's start okay we'll start with yarn because I still haven't bought the little knickknacks I bought some knickknacks little knickknacks little tiny little things that I like to pop in there and squeeze in and shove in places and then you kind of have to oh would you look at that I didn't know that was in there kind of thing yeah that's that <laughs> and then we have some yarn 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 now um that blanket you see right there the blue and white one that yarn was from Lincraft that yarn was called uh, baby eight ply Lincraft's baby eight ply merino now if you're not from Australia which quite a few of my subscribers aren't Lincraft is one of our larger stores that stock anything craft anything crafty and arts um, even materials and sewing and they also stock kitchenware and items like that as well and curtains and drapes and bedding wear and it, it just they stock everything so I do tend to buy yarn from spotlight Lincraft and then other little stores as well I like to keep everybody happy yeah and myself of course because <laughs> I'm very fussy so I went to Lincraft and I bought that yarn and I bought also the mint gorgeous I don't know if you can see that color it's like a oh it's like a bluey kind of green you can't see it's not very good there but when I show you um, on the giveaway itself You'll be able to see it properly because i'll have it in a nice lighting area for you but check that out gorgeous so this is a merino her kind of it's like a sheep a sheep with softer fur if that makes any sense um it is gorgeous it says it's made in italy <laughs> but it is a lincraft yarn so i suppose it's supported by lincraft and that's one of the lincraft yarns i like and with spotlight um I might not advertise this one as a spotlight yarn and I'll tell you why in a minute but spotlight has a, a yarn called four seasons and I'm going to be showing you today the eight ply cotton it's just a white this one but it's an eight ply it's it's a solid cotton it's kind of a um, how to explain kind of cotton it's not that flimsy soft but it is thin for an eight ply I think it's a little too thin um, but it's a good solid cotton it's nice and strong you're not gonna find anything stronger than or you will but I'm just gonna say that right <laughs> so that's the spotlight four seasons cotton and that's the Lincraft oh I've just dropped something oh. and that's the Lincraft um, yarn that I will have in um, the giveaway as well also my favorite yarn that i used to work with before bendigo woolen mills and i still do in fact i work with it a lot because it's really good for grafcans because they have um the color coordinations are great you have like three or four different types of red or three or four different types of blues and greens so when you're doing grafcans and you're changing into different shades it looks superb and so i use clarketon country yarn now i bought this from spotlight but apparently I could be wrong I'm not sure they may not stock it I'm have to check with spotlight to find out the uh, Clarketon and uh, Bendigo Woolen Mills yarn are kind of combined now they're kind of one so I don't know what's gonna happen there and I hope we still have all those colors because I need them for graph gans, which I don't like to make heads up <laughs> and I will never do one on YouTube <laughs> because I get too frustrated and I throw it across the room every now and then <laughs> but there you go so um, 
that's the kind of yarn that's going to be going into our giveaway as well. I stock a lot of Clickeaton, so I know I have stacks of it here. So if I don't get the opportunity to buy anything, I can pull some out of my own stash, <laughs> if you will. But I do stock a lot of it. By this time next week, I'll be able to show you some of the Grafgan work that I'm in the middle of. I'm making a blanket for my nephew's stepson. Um, he recently had a child, we also recently, about two years ago, had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> nearly two years now and I made him a blanket with his name Leo on and you've probably seen it in some of my um, actually it was might have been in my history if you're interested in my history I've got a history video here I'll pop the link to that video in the description box down below um, it's the very first link you see anyway because it tells you a bit about my history and where I come from and why I do what I do um, and anyway I made a blanket for him Leo and this next blanket was for his stepson and his name is Cooper. So I'll be showing you that blanket often um, on my lives weekly <laughs> until I finish it. And there you go. So that's that. Now, whilst we're here discussing Click Eaton, in the pack, the very one of the first prizes, um, you may or may not remember I did a corner to corner cowl, yes, or a corner to corner um, cravat. I don't know what you want to call it, cowl, cravat little mini scarf I think I called it a corner to corner cowl corner to corner mini scarf or a corner to corner cravat and I made it in a pink because the yarn that I made it in didn't come up too well on the video so you couldn't actually see me do the stitches because it kind of has and this is what I like about it it had the little specks in it so I thought why not give you or the winner number one first prize one of the first prizes one of the two first prizes this particular yarn look at that this might go in the 5,000 subscriber giveaway which I haven't done yet but I will um, that's the one I'm doing on the 6,000 subscriber mark as well but this particular one will go in the 5,000 one because um, my 5,000 subscriber giveaway was supposed to be the big one but because we were stuck I couldn't do it so I'm still going to do it um, and I have four of these skeins they are also click heat and country now, Plaquiton Country, just a quick one to let you know, is, when I tell you in a minute, I do know it, I should know it, it is 100% wool, I think, from memory. No, it is, I'm lying, I'm telling lies again. It's 85% wool, this one here is, 85% wool, 10% acrylic, and 5% viscose. Now, I think viscose is kind of like a cotton. Well, I think this one's different, and I'm pretty sure this one's 100% wool. Let me have a quick look-see. Oh, if I can find it... Okay, this one here is, yes, this is 100% wool. Very interesting. Both country, 100% wool, but this one, because it's got the specs in, must have the breakdown of the, the actual yarn. So you've got 85% wool, 10% acrylic, 5% viscose, 100% wool, pure wool. All right, Australian wool, yeah? So that's that. I would those They are definitely going in the giveaway, and there's four, and that's enough to make that cow that we made here online and I will pop the link to that cow in the description box down below if you guys want to make it or mini scarf or um, cravat whatever you wanted to call it so they are the three types of yarns that I will be popping in first prize giveaway yes now uh, second prize giveaways I'll be popping in some of the Karen cakes that we love so well and this is my favorite color of the Karen cakes I love the red velvet it's um, I don't know what it is about it I just love 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 and you would actually see my double crochet v-stitch blanket here on YouTube in this color and actually I'll pop the link in a description box down below as well uh, that was done quite a long time ago and that was actually the double crochet v-stitch where there was no gap and I haven't done a v-stitch blanket with the gap and I think we may have to consider that in the future not, not with this yarn because I've already done one this, with this yarn so there you go but that some of that is going in our giveaway get excited guys it's coming up the giveaway it really is and also some of our um I call it it's acrylic yarn it's called 100% premium acrylic yarn 
but it's actually kind of underrated. I love it and I love working with it and it works up gorgeously and I love making blankets with it. And you get it at our Big W stores here in Melbourne, I'm assuming in the state of Australia as well. Big W is one of the chains that sell clothes and kitchenware and, and workout gear. And, oh, they sell everything. And occasionally they sell yarn and they sell the carnival. The carnival is underrated, but I love working with it. I don't usually work a lot with it though, but I do love working with it. I find it's comfortable. Um, if I want to make a blanket that I know I'm going to keep, I will actually use a carnival. If I'm going to use an acrylic, I'll use a, a carnival because I don't mind the carnival acrylic. I think it's nice. Um, I gave some acrylic carnival to my sister, Teresa, my older sister. She's already made things with it. <laughs> I'm still waiting here, staring at mine, but that's 100% acrylic. It is an eight ply, um, so it's a good solid wool. Wool, not wool, acrylic. Yarn, yarn, I'll say yarn. And of course, ta-da, we love Baby Soft. Well, I love Baby Soft. It's so gorgeously soft, and I, I tell you, I love working with it. And you know what? This yarn, once washed in a fabric softener, or hair conditioner because some people wash them in hair conditioner um comes up even softer so you cannot go wrong with that i have i think five skeins maybe six i can't remember but they are going that's definitely going in our giveaway spotlight does have spotlight is like lynn craft it has it is a chain a big chain here in australia a craft chain if you will um dressmaking sewing craft crochet arts bedding the works exactly the same as Lincraft. they're both very big stores um, and i buy yarn from both of them now this yarn here motivera it's called starlight eight ply now if you have a careful look at it it's got like a little tinsel kind of bit of a sparkly can you see the sparkles Ooh, sparkle 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 and i'll be giving quite a bit of that away too i think i might have five skeins maybe more i don't know cannot remember but these are the kinds of yarns you are going to see in the giveaway yes and finally of course i say last but not least because i use uh, bendigo woolen mills cotton as you know i use the eight ply for my vests that i make and i use four ply for the vests that i make four ply are a lot thinner and softer and they look very soft on but this eight ply gear kind of looks solid but it is gorgeous and i love this color it's called peach i have two of these <laughs> but um i don't know if i'm giving this color away if i'm going to go out and buy some more but there will be bendigo woolen mills cotton giveaway so there you go that those are the kinds of yarns you're going to see in the giveaway so if i've got first second and third for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway each one of those prizes will have cotton wool and acrylic cotton wool and acrylic cotton wool and acrylic they won't have the same amount because obviously the first prize will be bigger than the second, second bigger than the third, and so on. So that's what will happen in the 5,000 giveaway, and that's what will happen in the 6,000 giveaway. So you can't go wrong, guys. You're going to get yarn, you're going to get knickknacks, you're going to get hooks maybe, you're going to get, um, I don't know, stitch markers. I don't know because I haven't bought all those little things yet. <laughs> but the stores have opened. I'm going shopping soon and I cannot wait. And I've bought yarn already so we can't go wrong. Ah. <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled because over the next week or so, or even the next two weeks, I'll be popping up a little video like this that will explain some of the yarn or some of the hooks or some of the products that I'll be giving away in the giveaway. And on the actual giveaway, I will explain the actual prizes themselves in complete. So you'll have all the first prizes sitting in one spot, the second sitting in the other, and the third sitting in the other for the 5,000 subscriber. And then I'll do for the 6,000 subscriber giveaway, I'll do exactly the same, the three, the two, and the one. So there you go, guys. What can I say? Um, I've had a lot of fun today. <laughs> and I'm laughing because right after this when i say ciao for now you're going to see the little blooper that happened when i was outside with the animals all i want to say is i did not know and here's a fact i did not know that bees like dog food so there you go guys that was our 
little sneak preview at some of the yarn that's going in the giveaway. The minute we hit our 6,000 subscriber mark, I will do a full video on each prize and you'll get to see exactly what's going in the giveaway. That's going to be fun. Guys, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm having a bit of a giggle thinking about something right now because yours truly is going to end the video here, but stick around. And you can see the blooper that happened when I went out to see <laughs> Teddy and Pepper before. <laughs> <laughs> the blooper was quite a blooper and I was <laughs> beside myself with a bit of a giggle later. I wasn't laughing at the time, <laughs> but I kind of am now. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to join me live tomorrow morning, Saturday, 10am um, Melbourne, Australia time. And we'll have another chat about some of the yarns I'm going to do for the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching and guess what guys? Stick around and watch the blooper. Ciao for now. <laughs> and she's got to get first dibs at the bed. Let's see if he can. Oh my gosh. Is that a bee? It's a far out bee. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a far out bee. I've got to move. We've got a bee. We've got a bee. We've got a far out bee. But the bee eats a far out dog food. What? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Here we go. What is with that bee? What is with that bee? Oh, the camera's still working.